Hey, in wrapping up, I always like to ask the last two questions. What advice would you give for budding entrepreneurs? I think some of the lessons learned for me and one of the biggest ones is uh, it's kind of becoming a, it's become a philosophy for me is, you know what, there's never a good time for any. I think, and that's my philosophy. Is like, I think a lot of people wait for the ideal time to get something going and get something started. And I, I just think that the uh, concept of the right time is just, a, it's just a, it's a fallacy. There's no such thing. The right time never exists. There's never a right time for anything. There's always something or the other happening. Our world is very complex. I think pulling the trigger, taking a shot, even when you don't think you're ready, just making the right moves in that direction itself is a big step forward. You may stumble, you may fail and things like that. But if you sit and wait for the right conditions and the right opportunity and this and that, you'll probably squander away a lot of years and stuff like that. So I think I know it's a little bit philosophical, but that's how, you know, if I've distilled down like the last seven, nine years of my life, that's one of the biggest lessons in the lab life, right? Good stuff. One last question. What skills that you use today do you wish you would have paid more attention to back in the early part of your career or back in college? <laughs> yeah, I... um I think I, I came from a corporate background. Uh, I used to work for Cisco in tech support, consulting, and then eventually sales for them. And then we went. I went from there to to having an app that delivers booze. So I, nothing in my corporate culture could prepare me for that switch. But I think one thing that if I look back now is in my career, I didn't have a lot of men who were entrepreneurs and I was not exposed to that world. It, it was almost like for 15 years, I was in the corporate world and that's the only world I knew. And I never bothered to look beyond my Right. It was all about, hey, I work for this company. This is my mission. This is all I'm doing. No reading. So I think getting out of your comfort zone and looking at other people and just engaging with people who are different than you and who are doing different things, and that helps a lot. I wish I had much sooner. Uh, and also, I think finding the right uh, mentors, right? You don't have to go figure everything out yourself. There are people who have seen this movie before. There are people who have starred in this movie and, you know, have had great roles. I think half hour, one hour with those people is really save you a lot of time and effort. But these are things that I didn't do in my, if I just exposed more and went and sought some mentors, that would have made maybe, you know, I wouldn't have done maybe, I made, I don't know, 50 mistakes. I probably wouldn't have made 25 if I had some exposure. Wow, well, that's fantastic. I'm going to ask one follow-up question. So I lied. One follow-up question on that. Uh -huh. And I bet I know the answer to this. You mentioned lack of mentors. And I hear that from a lot of the kids that I talk to in various colleges around these things. I'm curious, how many people have re young people have reached out to you to ask to be mentored or to ask for maybe a half hour of your time just saying, hey, I'm a young entrepreneur, give me three or four thoughts or something. I'm just curious, how many kids have reached out to you? Zero. The only, my, my school, I, I went to business school at Duke. And Duke has a, a very good entrepreneurship program where they go to the alumni who are now in entrepreneurship and they invited you to come and chat with all of their students for their current class and stuff like that. So I think that was one thing I, I did last year and that was like highly fulfilling, but it was under the Duke banners and they facilitated that. But nobody organically has come and said, I'm trying to do something. I, I have lots to say. And it's very important, right? It's very important that you don't have to reinvent the wheel like from scratch every time. It's, you, you just have to have the guts to ask. That's the point I want to get at. And thanks thanks for the time today. Very interesting stuff. How can how can uh, retailers get